Yehi Ratzon, Parashat Bereshit, 5784, in uh, this very, very challenging and uh, unique time in Am Yisrael's history. We're uh, entering into Parashat Bereshit, and uh, yesterday at 12.15, uh, I was listening to my Rosh Hashiva of Benny, who uh, lost his son in uh, Sunday. Um, in fighting over Beri, his son, uh, 43 years old, uh, went down to try and uh, save, and he saved over 100 people's lives. Um, and he said one sentence that I think is important for this parsha. He said it's very obvious and very clear that our enemy is like the Nachash in this parsha. And I've been thinking since Rabbeinu spoke about it, what's the relation between the enemy that we're dealing with now? and the Nachash that we meet in this Parsha. And I think that there are two very, very important things that we can learn from this sentence. The first thing is that the Nachash identifies not who we are, but what gives us strength. The Nachash realizes that our relationship with Hashem is through its Adat, and that there's a relationship between Chava and Adama Rishon. And what he attacks is not the person himself only, but he attacks the identity. And if we think about the way that our enemy has attacked us, they attacked us in our time of simcha, in our homes, in our families, and they have said to us that they have realized what our identity is. Our families and our children and our simcha and the Torah are our identity, and they want to take it away. Walking around the streets of Eretz Yisrael, walking around Efrat, it's been very clear that what everyone has, has realized is that the relationships we have are our strength. No matter where we go, everyone is walking around, making sure to take care of families, take care of the relationships that identify who we are. And the second thing, we've been having very difficult conversations, realizing that we were davening so hard on Sukkot and on Oshana Rabbah and that 24 hours later we had to see the terrible situations that we've been put into. And all of this has been at making us ask, are we actually strong? Are we connected? And I think that if we look at the way that we were attacked, it's very clear that the fact that this doesn't happen every day is exactly what we have to focus on. The way that they attacked meant that this is what they want to do on a daily basis. And the fact that it doesn't happen every day is proof of our strength. The Nachash, Hashem punishes him and says, eat dust. And what he's saying to the Nachash is, you take everything, but I don't want to ever hear from you again. What we realize from the stories that we're listening to now is that the idea that we have to know is that Hashem wants us to speak and yell and scream and be frustrated and be angry. But that we're all the time in a relationship and we have to realize not only to focus on the, on the day of a week ago on Shabbat, but to look at our whole story, to look at where we were a hundred years ago and where we are today, that we have the, the privilege and opportunity that 150% are drafting to the army and that 1000% of the nation is drafted in all the ways that they can in the shirim that they give in the tefillahs that they have in the Torah that they learn in the chesed that they're doing there is no limit to the amount of relationship and participation Hashem said to the Nachash take it all but I never want you to participate Hashem is saying to us we are all involved we are all participating my bracha going into Parsha Breshit is number one, to realize through the Nachash what our identity is. And number two, to understand that we all the time are involved. We're involved in the tears and we're involved in the dancing. We're involved in the pain. We're involved in the terrible and difficult times, but that we're all the time also realizing that in the wholesome of the picture, that there are things that we're building that have never been built before. And Bezrat Hashem, we should be Zohar to strengthen ourselves, to know that we are the, the opposite of the Nachash and that we are fighting an enemy that is the Nachash and we are the Adam that is bringing redemption to the world.